Hello friends, welcome to a new lecture today. It is on bronchopneumonia. So, bronchopneumonia. Here, alveoli are not much involved. Mostly, alveoli is involved, but also the terminal bronchioles are also involved. So, if you see, if this is the lung, here you see involvement of terminal bronchioles. So, if this is the alveoli and this is the terminal bronchiole, the terminal bronchiole is involved here. Okay, so what is the common organism which you see in bronchopneumonia? In bronchopneumonia, the most common organism is Staphylococcus. If you see in lobar pneumonia, the most common organism is Streptococcus pneumonia, that is pneumococci. Whereas in bronchopneumonia, the most common organism is Staphylococci. Sometimes Streptococcus or uh, Streptococci pneumonia or sometimes um, gram-negative organisms like Klebsiella, Haemophilus influenza, Pseudomonas, coliforms, all these are also responsible. So, what do you see grossly? Grossly, there is patchy consolidation. So, if you see here, this affects one or more lobes because if this is the lung, I am just drawing in a... So, if this is the lobes, this is the uh, two uh, bronchi. These bronchi again divide into bronchioles and small bronchioles and small bronchioles and some bronchioles. So here only the bronchioles, these are the bronchioles, just think that all the lines which I am drawing are just the bronchioles. So only here the bronchioles are affected and as a result if you see there is patchy consolidation. If you see here there is consolidation, here there is consolidation. In the middle interstitium is normal. So there is only patchy consolidation which can involve either one lobe or both the lobes or more than one lobe. Okay, so this is found bilaterally. And it is patchy consolidation which is involving either one or more lobes. Consolidation involving one or more lobes. Okay. So if you see the affected surface, it is dry and granular and firm. What do you see microscopically? Microscopically, the alveoli which are there, so those alveoli are less inflamed. If you see alveoli, they just have edematous fluid and nothing more than that. They are not inflamed, they just have some edematous fluid. But if you see the bronchiole, this is the bronchiole. The bronchiole is inflamed. Okay, and it also has some neutrophilic exudate. The bronchiole is inflamed. It has neutrophilic exudate. Okay, the bron bronchiolar wall is also inflamed. So, this is called as bronchopneumonia, so where bronchioles and bronchiolar wall is involved. So, this is about the most, this is about bronchopneumonia. So, in our next class, we will learn about each type of uh, organism, the pneumonia caused by each type of organism. So, right now, thank you guys for watching my lecture. Uh, if you have any doubts, please comment it in the comment section. If you feel something is inadequate in this lecture, even then comment it in the comment section. Thank you for watching my lecture. Thank you.